would be a problem if we saw that rain would be here a big in the problem. studio. A little bit of a problem, but good thing it's dry in here. But out there, yes, there have been a few raindrops here and there throughout the afternoon and the evening, and we're expecting to see a whole lot more as we head into the overnight hours and even into the next few days as well. Satellite radar showing you lots of moisture out there. Not all of it necessarily making its way down to the ground yet, but some raindrops already making their way there and they will continue to do that as we head into the next few hours here. Let's get a look at the big picture. We've got a couple low pressure systems working their way into our forecast. Cold front coming our way, bringing rain with it. You're going to see plenty of rain to our north, plenty of rain to our south, and both systems affecting us over the next few days. In fact, we're going to continue to see rain chances possibly through the weekend. Temperatures currently somewhat mild. We're in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, even 62 Anaheim, 58 Pasadena, 59 in Van Nuys and 58 in Valencia. So here's the drill. We've got showers and rain in the forecast on and off for the next few days. Best chance tonight, overnight and Friday, mainly Friday night into maybe early Saturday. We're still expecting that chance to last through tomorrow and we're expecting that chance to last through the majority of Friday potentially and again through the weekend. So we're going to break down the exact timing of it. It has been changing a lot. The models have been changing a ton actually over the last few days, but right now it does look like there's some agreement. So we will time it out for you on future cast coming up. We're cooling down and snow not really a factor above 8500 feet. Your full forecast coming up in just a bit. Back to you. All right. Well, it feels like rain is coming. In fact, in some places, yeah. feel it it's already bones? raining. You I feel, feel it in my bones. And right here in the studio, <laughs> inside the studio. No, it's outside in Studio City, huh? outside our studio. Yes. Um, yeah, some raindrops. Yep. It's, it's rain finally coming. Raindrops are falling. Yes. <laughs> I know they were falling on your head a little earlier. I, I will spare you from, from that song. Thank I will you. not be singing that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Yes, raindrops are coming down. <laughs> and uh, not a whole lot yet. Just a little bit of drizzle, but we are expecting more of it. And it's going to continue to intensify as we head into the overnight hours. And we're still continuing with that chance, actually, over the next few days. And yes, we did say days. It's not just tonight. So we're going to break it all down for you coming up momentarily. We do want to take you outside. We're showing you satellite radar right now, and we're looking at widespread moisture. And I'm saying moisture because not all of it's making its way down to the ground, but some of it is starting to at this point and will continue to over the next few hours. As we get a look at satellite radar, we're looking at rain sitting over the majority of the state right there and over the Pacific Northwest to our south as well. So we are planning on seeing a decent amount of moisture over the next few days. Temperatures currently in the 40s, the 50s, even a few 60s, so it's mild. We did have a pretty mild day out there. It was a bit muggy out there, still the case right now. 58 Pasadena, 59 downtown, 45 in Wrightwood. So here's your forecast. We have high pressure. We had high pressure in our forecast. It's moving on out. Low pressure is moving in. As this front moves in, we are expecting to see more of that rain. Rain tonight, and it could continue through Saturday, possibly even through your Sunday. We have two systems to deal with over the next few days and future cast is showing you just that except for 11 o'clock tonight not too far away and we're already expecting to see more widespread showers along the five right there through the i-5 corridor closer to the new hall pass and along the central coast then overnight starts to become a little more widespread and that's going to continue on through the morning hours scattered showers around your morning commute and some of the showers moving south by late morning tomorrow but even by noontime we're still in for that chance of rain and that could continue through the late afternoon possibly even the evening hours could even get a little heavier along the coast by tomorrow evening so we're leaving that chance in there for tomorrow leaving that chance in there for friday leftover showers by saturday maybe a shower by sunday with more sunshine, but cooler temperatures on the way for your Monday. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right. And that rain starting to inch into the forecast. We'll have the details coming right up. Yeah. Ouch, yeah. That, that hurt right, right here. Yeah. But you know what? Hopefully you won't have any complaints. I mean, I know a lot of us are complaining because it was 80 and now yeah. it's going to be raining. That's not my fault, but we're hoping to nail this one on the head. So don't complain if things don't go quite as planned because those models have been changing a ton. So we will get there in a minute and we're going to get here. We're going to take you to the Santa Monica Pier where still looks dry out there. So no complaints there and as of yet, but things are about to change. Satellite radar lighting up in green. Looks like we've got widespread rain. It's not the case yet. Some of the rain making its way down to the ground. Some of the rain, not a lot of it in just the lower levels of the atmosphere, just waiting 
to make its way down. So eventually that will be the case and it will be pretty widespread as we head into the overnight hours into tomorrow. And that chance will continue. We actually have two systems that we're working with. That's why we're seeing so much rain to our north and so much rain to our south as well. Temperature wise tonight still mild in a lot of spots, cooling down in others. 45 in Wrightwood, 57 in Pasadena, 62 in Anaheim, 59 in Long Beach and 59 in Laguna Beach. So here's a drill. High pressure out of the way at this point. We've got low pressure working its way in. We actually have two systems coming in and with that we will see a continual chance of rain, not just tonight, but possibly tomorrow, possibly your Friday, better chance even on Friday and maybe even a chance on your Saturday, maybe a drop by the time we head to your Sunday. Future cash showing us the rain by 11 o'clock starting to work its way into Southern California, becoming widespread overnight and by seven in the morning still looking at some scattered showers and that will continue to be the case through tomorrow afternoon rain a possibility on Friday, especially Friday night, a chance of shower Saturday chance of a shower Sunday, just a chance Monday drier but cooler. Rick and Sharon back to you. Rain boots uh, umbrellas. Yep, that's going to be the drill bust all of that out over the next few days because we've got this chance of rain in the forecast at least for the next four days, I would say. So we're going to break it all down for you. We'll tell you exactly when and where because it will be going on and off. At this point, we're lucky enough to catch a few raindrops on our lens here in Long Beach just to prove to you that it is raining out there. If you step outside in your neighborhood, you might catch a few raindrops. It's not too heavy yet. It's not too widespread yet. It looks a lot worse on radar than it actually is, but we're starting to see some of that rain move in. Some of it not quite making its way down to the ground quite yet, but as we head into the overnight hours, we will see more of it as we zoom out on radar. We're looking at rain, even snow to our north and more rain to our south. This first storm system is coming from the southwest, so it's a little warmer. It's sort of that subtropical moisture that's coming in, so it's not too cool out there and uh, snow levels very high at about 8500 feet, so we're really not expecting to see much snow at all. The next storm system is coming from the north. So that's going to be a little colder. We could get even a little bit of snow with that storm system as well, and we could get a little more rain as we move toward the later part of the week. Right now, the heavier rain is still sitting offshore off of Point Conception. That'll eventually scooch into our forecast as we head into the next few hours here, and we could stand to see more rain once that happens, of course. Temperature is currently on the mild side, but starting to get a little cooler. 40s and 50s out there, and we are expecting cooler conditions later in the week. So we'll have that extended forecast and more on all of that rain. That's coming up in just a bit. Back to you. And we're bracing for more rain in the forecast. It's out there already. We'll have the details coming up. Thank everyone around. At it again through the afternoon. And looks like that chance continues through your Friday evening. Chance of showers by Saturday, chance of a shower by Sunday, drying out by Monday. For the beaches, same thing, and same thing goes for the valleys and the Inland Empire. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Johnson with our first check of the forecast. Have a look. Pat and Paul, take a look at satellite radar right here. We're seeing a lot of green and earlier, not all of it was making its way down to the ground. Now the majority of it making its way down. We're looking at slick conditions all across the Southland. As we head into the next few hours, we're expecting more rain. In fact, we're expecting more rain over the next few days. We're going to continue tracking it for you. But as we get a look at the big picture, we have two storm systems, one sitting to our south, one sitting to our north. So the one to our south affecting, effect, affecting rather our forecast right now. It's a little warmer, so it felt a little muggy earlier today and temperatures are going to stay on the warmer side and snow levels staying on the high side around 8500 feet. So not expecting a whole lot of snow but a decent amount of rain. We'll have the full breakdown coming up for you in just a bit. Paul, back. that's exactly right. Right behind you, there was some rain right there in downtown. Now, Sky 2 flying over North Hollywood, heading toward Pacoima over Burbank at this point, probably. And we are starting to see a little bit of rain. Not all of it's making its way down to the ground, but more of it is now, and we're expecting even more overnight into the next few days as well. Radar showing you widespread moisture. We're saying moisture because still not all of it is coming down yet, but some of it is more so than where we were earlier tonight. As we carry on through the next few hours, we're tracking some rain that's sitting offshore. 
And along the coast, Malibu to Santa Monica and up toward Calabasas, we're expecting to see more steady showers. Again, this will continue. Take a look at the big picture as we get a look at radar. We've got rain sitting to our north. We've got rain sitting to our south. Two systems actually, and that's what's going to keep the rain coming over the next few days. The one sitting to our south, a little warmer. We felt that subtropical moisture earlier today. It was pretty muggy and that'll continue to be the case. And then we've got colder storm system, a colder storm system rather, heading our way. And with that, temperatures are going to dip down. We could see a little more rain with that one. At this point, though, temperatures still quite mild. We're in the 40s, but generally the 50s, a few 60s out there, 59 in downtown, 60 in Anaheim. And as we head over to Long Beach, we're at 57 degrees. So let's get back to the rain on future cast. Except for the overnight hours, 2 a.m. We're expecting that rain to slide into Southern California. We're seeing it out there now, but we're seeing steadier showers as we head into the overnight hours and in the morning. Pretty widespread around your morning commute by 10 o'clock. A few scattered showers and that'll continue through the afternoon hours and by 3 o'clock tomorrow. Still expecting widespread showers potentially in the forecast and this continues through your Friday potentially. Let's get to that five day forecast and you'll see that right there. So tomorrow we're calling for showers in the forecast Friday. It could get a little heavier. We're calling for rain, especially Friday night. And then by Saturday, maybe a few leftover showers by Sunday, a slight chance of a shower, but we're keeping it dry for now and keeping it drier and cooler for your Monday. Pat and Paul back to you. That is a long neck, isn't it? Very. Yeah. But it resembles her just a little bit yeah, in the does. face. It's like the Kate portrait. <laughs> <laughs> Looking on the bright side. <laughs> That's me, right? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a song. Yeah, David Letterman's up next. <laughs> <laughs> so musical. I'm trying to remember which one it is. On the bright side yeah, of life. Yeah. <laughs>